Good day everyone, I'm Dave, and today we're just going to do a quick little video on grease and lubrications. There are a lot of different greases on the market, a lot of different methods for application, guns, pressure ones, regular tubes, larger grease guns, of course, spray cans and so on. But what's really important is understanding the application of the grease, where you're going to use it, and what's the overall purpose. Um, the first thing to realize with grease is the color really doesn't matter. There's a lithium grease that's brown. There's a lithium grease that's green. And I can even bring out a white lithium grease. The colors are added by the manufacturer quite often so that the end user can help differentiate when they have them sitting in a, in a gun. They'll instantly know what grease is in it. When dealing with grease, the first thing to look at is manufacturer's recommendations. If you don't have any manufacturer's recommendations, you have to look at what's the purpose of the grease, whether you're dealing with high heat, high speed, whether you're dealing with rubber, with plastic. There are literally thousands of different types of grease. When you're dealing with tools and you can't find a manufacturer's recommendation, you have to use your own best judgment. I'm using a, a lithium complex that I'm using on the gears of drills. When I start getting into tools that hit a little harder, like grease sip saws, quite often I go into more of a molly grease or a poly grease. Grease comes in different consistencies. It can come in quite uh, soft and flexible, more of a harder grease, or even sprayable grease. So we look at this out of a circular saw, and obviously the first thing people like to do is pull some off and they'll check and see the color, and they'll try to buy the grease the same color. And as we've already said, that doesn't work. The best thing to do is clean off all that grease, get a degreaser, complete it, completely clean it, and then apply your new grease. For gearing, of course, I'm using a modified lithium. Coat that up completely full. And in this case where it's gonna be completely sealed inside a enclosure, I'm not worried about putting excess. I'll actually put as much as I can get in there such that this will still turn freely. I'll coat up everything that's in here. A lot of the greases that are out there, including lithium, not only prevent rust, but they also prevent water um, from getting to the metal. So coating this up and coating up everything that's inside there is great. You also have to be careful, of course, of dealing with grease on wires because of the rubber coating. Some greases will actually eat that wire. There's some greases, like this one, for example, that's actually meant specifically for wires. You coat wires when you're pulling them through particular tubes and then that grease just stays on that wire permanently, adds a little bit of extra protection. And then you also have specific types of greases like anti-seize type, which are specific to put on bolts and nuts to prevent them from rusting in place. And even with anti-seize, there are so many different variations. There's the silver grade, of course, you have copper, you have marine grade, you have high heat, you have high friction. Uh, there's so many different options you can go through to select the proper one. And then with some greases, in this case a particular spray grease, you have the manufacturer demand that you use a specific model and specific brand, otherwise you void warranties. And then you have specific bearing manufacturers, SKF being one of them, which will put out specific greases for each one of those bearings that they make, depending on the situation. And finally, of course, WD-40, which we all have. It's a great penetrating oil, but it's not necessarily the right one for every situation. So regardless of what kind of method you use to apply your grease, gun, push gun, brush, or spray, the thing to remember is color of the grease really doesn't mean anything. You have to check with the manufacturer to see what they recommend. Greases don't always play well with other greases, so quite often you have to remove all the old grease unless you can guarantee you're using the same type again. And greases don't always play well with plastics and rubber and quite often can deteriorate O-rings and seals and so on if you're using the wrong one. Hopefully, this gives you something to think about and helps you select the proper lubricant for your situation. So if you have any comments for dealing with grease or other videos you'd like to see, please leave them in the comment section below. For more tools, tips, tricks, and teardowns, please subscribe and watch our other videos. And thanks for watching.